Hey everyone, and welcome back to my course on Ansible. So in this video, we are going to take the playbook that we were working on and sort of enhance it and make it a lot more leaner. Uh, we can see that we're getting a lot of code in it, and we only have our web servers set up yet. So once we add our database server and our load balancer in there, it's going to get pretty busy. So what we want to do is take these tasks as well as the handler and put them in their separate YAML file. Now, if you want to get caught up in following along with the code on GitHub, this code is all in the lab number four. So if you want to look at the, the end state, just go into the lab number four folder and the code is there. But if you're, you've been working along and following with us, hop on over to the lab folder and let's start updating this playbook. So the first thing we're going to do is we can see in this lab directory there's only the templates folder. So let's go ahead and create two new folders. So new folder and we will call it tasks. Then I'm going to create another new folder and let's call it handlers. Now under tasks, let's go ahead and create a new file and we'll go apache2 underscore install dot yml and from our playbook we're going to take this out and paste it in here. So we'll fix up the indentation here just where it requires it. All right, that looks good to me. So let's hop on over to our playbook again. And now we can take this out. But now our tasks are empty, so we will need to refer to this Apache2 underscore install file. So let's do dash include tasks colon and then we will reference that file so it's task slash apache2 underscore install dot yml and now let's do the same for handlers so we'll take that out and we're gonna have a separate file for handlers so we'll do the include tasks again, but this time we're going to say handlers slash main dot yml. And let's create that file. So we'll call it main dot yml. And we'll hop in there and we will paste this and make sure the indentation is the same. Now that looks good. There's one more thing that I want to do and that's with this apache2 install.yml I'm gonna add a fourth task in here so I'll go ahead and give it a name and the name's gonna be ensure apache is running it's gonna use the service module and the name will be apache2 and the state will be started and basically what this will do is every time you run the playbook it'll make sure that Apache 2 is started at the end of it so it's just a good check to have now let's go ahead and hop into our terminal and I will rerun the playbook so ansible dash playbook dash I for inventory dash capital K for playbook one and put in the password of vagrant and this should run our new playbook and you can see that uh, it's including that task and it ran that for that one and it looks like everything ran including the new one that we created which makes sure is that which makes sure that Apache 2 is running so that's perfect 
that's basically everything I wanted to show for this lab. This was a pretty quick video, but we cleaned up our original playbook considerably. Please join me in the next video where we will add uh, more servers and hosts and start getting uh, Nginx and everything installed.